What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for clicking on today's video. So today's video is one that actually has been in the works for the past year and it did not need to take that long, let me tell you. But um, when we were living in Vancouver, I started a video where I went around to different restaurants that I loved and I filmed a bit there and I wanted to do like a compilation of all of my favorite vegan vegetarian restaurants in Vancouver and share them with you guys. And then when we moved, it was just such a shit show and all of my footage just did not end up in one place. I think some of it was on the camera, some of it was on a certain hard drive and I just kind of lost track of what was happening with that video and I just recently found all of the footage and compiled it and I thought, you know what? I still really want to do this video because if you are somebody that is traveling to Vancouver and you're looking for good food, this is what you want to watch because these restaurants are freaking awesome, they're the bomb.com and I just had to put it out there to the world. So if you enjoy food based videos and you're looking for some suggestions on where to eat in Vancouver that is vegan or vegetarian friendly, keep watching. Alright, none of these are in any particular order. But this first one is like a soft spot in my heart. The first place that I want to share with you is called Bandita's. Bandita's is a vegetarian, vegan, and gluten-free friendly restaurant that's located in East Vancouver on Commercial Drive. And it was started in 2009 by two lovely ladies. And it is just the best freaking food. I don't even know how else to explain it. They do an all day breakfast. They do a brunch with a wider variety of things. One of my favorite things on their menu is their eggs benedict, but instead they do them with like these cornbread bases and like tons of like salsa and guacamole. And oh, it's just, it's the best. You will always leave there feeling super satisfied. All of the food is made in house. The tortillas are fresh. And it's one of those places that no matter where I am in Vancouver, I will make the trek out to Commercial Drive to go to this restaurant. Another super cool thing about Banditas is they constantly are giving back to the community. They do a lot of different local initiatives. They do fundraising. They always have different artwork up on the walls that showcase different local artists. And I just think it's really cool that they're so involved in their community. They're very Vancouver proud. And yeah, it's just really nice to see a company like that do so well and be there for 10 plus years. It's a super casual vibe in there and they are open late. So you can basically go first thing for breakfast or very late at night and you will find something there that will absolutely satisfy you. So definitely go in and check it out. Sometimes there is a line on weekends for like brunch and stuff like that. But if you do go a little bit later in the day, usually you won't find anybody in front of you you'll get a table right away but yeah it's a must visit for sure the second restaurant I had to share with you is a place that we have had our birthdays at because it's like an upscale vegan vegetarian friendly place it is called heirloom and it is on South Granville heirloom opened in 2012 in a older heritage building and it's so beautiful it's like wood floors with like whitewashed walls and it like I said it's kind of an elevated casual dining I love going there for brunch they have an awesome brunch menu uh, especially one to watch out for is their hash bowls like I love a good hash who doesn't love a good hash um, their lunches are great and their dinners one of my favorite things on their dinner menu is their appetizers they do a really yummy Korean fried cauliflower and they have artichoke tacos like little mini tacos they do an incredible Brussels sprout dish I really also love their cashew coconut curry. Oh, it's just like the yummiest. It is so yummy. You'll never be disappointed when you're eating there. It definitely does get busy. And I will say sometimes, sometimes the service is a little bit slower when they're busy, but it is so well worth it because the food is incredible that I will overlook slow service, but definitely check out Heirloom. One of my favorites and yeah, it's definitely a crowd pleaser. The third place is somewhere where you guys have seen me eat many a time. If you've been following my channel for a while, it is called Meat. And they have multiple locations in Vancouver. One of them is in like Gastown area. They have another in Yale Town, uh, and another one on Maine. They are basically like vegan vegetarian comfort food, like 
burgers and like big bowls and just anything that's super satisfying but like a vegan vegetarian version of it and I think it's great because it's the place where I love to bring people that don't typically eat vegan vegetarian food like you could bring a very picky meat eater there and they would still leave very satisfied and like it's one of those meals where you're like wow that wasn't any animals like that was just plants that is the place that I would go for that experience. You always feel super full and satisfied, but never like heavy or like gluggy after indulging, which I know obviously with a lot of different comfort foods, sometimes that is the case. You just feel like your stomach's like weighed down with a rock. You'll never feel that way at meat. An appetizer we order there every single time that we go is the sweet chili cauliflower. Oh, it is like sinfully good. Uh, we also love the oyster mushroom calamari. That's really, really yummy. Um, I often get burgers while I'm there just because they have such like deluxe large style burgers. One of like the crowd pleasing ones is a mac and cheese burger. It sounds weird, actually is really fantastic. It's a lot of carbs, let me tell you, but it is worth every single bite. They have like a butter chicken bowl that's really good. I also often get one called the Lovely, which is like kind of like a stir fry bowl almost with like almond sauce and oh, it's just, it's wonderful. They have great desserts. It's a fun, easy atmosphere. It's very playful in there. They have lots of old school like toys and like decorations. They have a VHS player that's always playing old movies and it's just a really fun casual environment with great food. Meat was founded in 2013 and they are a first come first serve restaurant. So if you are looking to have dinner there, you can't make any reservations. You just gotta go in. But yeah, they, uh, they're just a great restaurant. I really highly recommend. This next restaurant is probably like the weirdest, funkiest one out of all of these. It is in Kitsilano and it was founded back in 1983 and it's called The Eatery. It's like sushi heaven, but like in the most playful and weird way. Like their menu has so many different nods to like pop culture or movies or characters and in the restaurant, I, I don't even know how to explain it, like the roof has like things that hang down that are like paper mache characters or I don't know, like it's just, it's wild. There's black UV lights in there and it's just, it's a really different atmosphere. It's very playful and fun. Fun fact, it's actually one of Seth Rogen's favorite restaurants in Vancouver or so says the internet talking about that. So I'm gonna pass that along like it's a fact. It's not all vegan vegetarian, but their vegan vegetarian section is enormous. So you won't have any problem finding something for you to eat. And they also have a lot of fun drinks, like just really weird, playful, strange drinks. So yeah, I think it's so much fun. It's definitely a place that you should check out if you're in Vancouver. Kitsilano is a little bit of a trek from downtown, but it is so worth your while to go out that way and have a little look. Also out in Kitsilano, there is Vancouver's oldest vegan, vegetarian, natural food-esque restaurant. It is called The Nam. Now the Nam is a very famous restaurant in Vancouver. It is open 24 seven and the only day of the year that it's not open is Christmas day. So there's been many a late night visit to the Nam. Smoke a joint out front and then go inside and eat your food. I mean, it's very Vancouver. It is kind of a smaller restaurant. So don't be alarmed if you do see a huge line out the door around dinner time, but they do very fast turnover. So you will get in quite quickly. Uh, they don't do any reservations or anything, so it's just first come, first serve. So yeah, that's that's a thing. Their menu is huge, like in the best way possible. They have so many different options, like there's Mexican food, there's Italian food, there's Asian inspired food, but they're all like generous portions and very, very yummy. Usually my favorite meals to eat there are, they do really good dragon bowls, like enormous rice based, kind of stir fry, kind of not bowls. I don't really know how else to explain it. They're just, they're great. You should really try them. They also do really yummy like Italian melts, like on like a, like a gluten free or bread base and then like a bunch of stuff on top. and. It's really good. They have awesome homemade desserts. Everything is fresh. They try and source as much as they can locally and organic. The Nam is definitely one of those places that is a must see in Vancouver, in my opinion. It's just been around for so long, you know? Like it started in 1968 
it's on West 4th and the road actually used to be called Rainbow Road back then. So it's just a bunch of hippies out in the middle of nowhere that started this, but now it is technically close-ish to things because the city expanded. And yeah, it's very well worth visiting if you're out in Kitsilano. And then, I mean, side note, just because, um, if you walk down the street just a little bit, there's a really great crystal shop, like a hop, skip, and a jump next door. A smaller cafe that we loved going to when we lived in Vancouver is called Kokomo or Hey Kokomo. One of the two. Their social media says Hey Kokomo, but when you go to the website, it's just called Kokomo. So. I'm not sure. It's definitely more of like a smaller cafe style thing, except they do like salads and like laska, is that how you pronounce it? Like a really good like noodly soup. It's really, really yummy. My favorite things to eat there are their hemp Caesar salad. Oh, it is so good. It's like roasted chickpeas with like a really yummy homemade Caesar base. They have a bowl there called the Coastal Macro Bowl and it is just so yummy. I need to figure out what sauce they use on that or how they do that because that is just real good. Uh, they also have really like nice takeaway, biodegradable and like tree based takeaway stuff, which is really nice because I find that I didn't often sit in their restaurant to eat. I would just grab something and then take it somewhere else to eat. So it was nice that they could provide that. Um, it's not a super extensive menu, but I think that they do what they do really, really well. And it's absolutely worth checking out. That is down in Chinatown. I think it's on Gore. We basically lived like right across the street when we were down in Vancouver, so we went often. <laughs> the last place that I absolutely have to mention because this has now become a staple in Vancouver. In 2016, a pizza place called Virtuous Pie opened up. Now we kind of lucked out because our apartment building was like across the street from it. And so we were pretty much there for like opening day. And as soon as it opened, that was like, that's where you get pizza from. It is all like handmade wood-fired pizza and all vegan vegetarian friendly with gluten-free options. Um, they have like their staple pizzas, like we love the one called Stranger Wings. It's like a cauliflower buffalo topping. I don't know how else to explain it, it was just really good. Uh, the ultraviolet pizza is also super good. And then they have seasonal pizzas like every few months that they rotate in and out. And oh my goodness, they're so much fun. They had one called the Curry Mile and it was like a curry dish but on a pizza. They have one that's like a Christmas theme one right now when I went to look on their website. It's just like, oh, it's so impressive. So that is a roundup of my favorite restaurants to eat at in Vancouver. There definitely is so many more. Vancouver is spoiled for choice with really great plant-based options. So you really won't have a problem finding good food anywhere you go. Vancouver is very notorious for good weed and good food. And I think that that's a very good pair. <laughs> Don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoyed it. And if you have any friends that are traveling to Vancouver, feel free to share this video. I would love to hear in the comments if you have any suggestions for other plant-based places to eat at in Vancouver. I think that it's so nice when we can all come together as a community and just suggest good stuff because that's, that's the best part about the internet. <laughs> Hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I will see you in a new video very soon. Bye!